Hey, I'm Christopher Judge, and you're watching Supernova TV. I'm here with Christopher Judge. Christopher Judge, you are now the god of war. Please tell me about that. Well, I just want to hear that again. Sorry. Christopher Judge, <laughs> you are now the god of war. Um, you know, uh, it, it, it was so kind of out of left field and so, uh, I want to say unexpected, but uh, I, I just was prepared to get something. You know, it's, I, I truly believe if you, if you uh, shout it to the universe, the universe answers, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, I did. I just got in the best shape of my life. Uh, it was just I was more focused than ever, and uh, I had no idea this is what was waiting, but I knew it, something was waiting, and it, I just had to be ready to catch it. So basically, the, the, you, you decided you are going to start working out and everything with nothing in mind, but mm -hmm. just going, I need to be ready for something. Right, right. Um, because, you know, I'm, I was at the point in my career uh, where either I'm going to, and this is just kind of the natural progression of, of people's careers, um, do I just let myself grow old gracefully? <laughs> and I just decided not yet. Yeah. You know, and then I got God of War, which is a character who's way older than me. <laughs> <laughs> He's growing old disgracefully. Yes, yes, yes. Well, well, how, how old, and it is, it is Kratos, is it? Kratos. Kratos, sorry. I've, I've never been good on pronunciation uh, of that. Um, we've seen Kratos before, like in, in how many other games, mm. but is this a different take on the character? Um, and it, I know you probably can't talk about it a lot because no, it's No, but I can't, I can't talk about the character. Um, it's just... Uh, Another, just a further evolution of the character. Um, you know, and I, I know this is true of God of War, but it's also true of just gaming in general. It's just time to make the next step, uh, as opposed to these very one-dimensional characters. Uh, now, yes, the, the gameplay and, and graphics and all that stuff uh, has progressed to a, a, a mind-numbing state. Mm. In, in, uh, uh, as far as realism, but now it was time for the characters to also make that progression. And so I, I, uh, I know with God of War, that is what they had in mind, that we want to now make Kratos uh, a fully three-dimensional character. So and and that, that's, that's where you're at with it, is, is helping define him, make him... Right. That's awesome. Right. Now, I, I do need to, I want to, I want to sort of bond with you just briefly. Um, I, as somebody uh, with with no hair, um, <laughs> for ten, not well, not quite ten years. How many years did you uh, go with without hair for Stargate? Six years, I believe, and then I, th I believe it was seventh season uh, when no, no Ben and Clark. Wait, Ben came on the seventh season or eighth season? I thought it was eight, but I could oh, be man, wrong. You know, I think you're right. So, so I did go seven years, uh, kind of. I, I just want to tell you that. Kind of, uh, oh, oh, I wouldn't have done that because it's that quite sweaty. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but what what horrified me is that I just assumed you were naturally bald, and then when the hair came back and, and you've got amazing hair at the moment. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> a little sad. Oh. Because I realised that he I was had, actually alone. He has he has hair in me. <laughs> I totally do have total hair in me. <laughs> um, you know, I'm actually, we're going through a heat wave in uh, L.A. at the moment. And so when I get back, if it's still 105, my hair may not make it the week. <laughs> well, then, which being the case, I, I welcome you back to the, the, the fold of the hair club for men. Um, look, Chris, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. Thank uh, you so all, much for always, joining us. Always, we love having you at always, Supernova. Always, always. So, you're probably wondering what sort of things are there to do at Supernova? Well, I'm going to show you, and we're going to have a look at all the different parts of Supernova, from getting autographs, getting photographs, and even just, you know, how to survive on the day. Are you ready? Let's go and do it. So we've gotten an autograph, but what happens if we want to get a photograph? Well, that's a slightly different process, but starts the same. Get your token, and then you've got to go through all of this. So all these people here are lined up to go into the photo studio. They've got their token, they're going to hand over their token when they go in, and then 
then it gets really exciting. So let's go and have a look inside. This is what happens when you come into the studio. It is very, very quick, and sometimes you won't have very long to say hello, but you'll get an amazing photo with the guest that you've got your token sorted out for. And then when you leave, they'll give you a QR code. It's so simple, but it's super fast. Look how fast they're moving. So you've had your photo taken, and then they've given you a QR code. And these people, you've got a QR code, haven't you? So come on through. So you scan it, and you scan yours. And then you scan yours and all of the others. There's a lot of QR codes happening here. And then they go down the far end, and so will we. So after you've been through all of the lines and everything and had your photo taken, then you come out here and 90 seconds later, you can pick up your photo. That's right, 90 seconds, like it's a minute and a half, and then you can grab your photo and you can head on off. So you don't have to worry about coming back later on in the day or anything like that. It's right there for you right now. So, uh, Where's my photo? I'm here with Johnny Young Bosch. Thank you so much for joining us here at sure, Supernova yeah. TV. Now, you're obviously best known for your work on Power Rangers, um, but I want to know if you were into the Power Rangers sort of genre before you got the role there. Mm, I didn't really watch it. Okay. Um, I had seen it, you yeah. know, um, I had seen it on TV, but I didn't really. It wasn't a show that I was like, oh, I gotta run home and, and watch it. Yeah. I think it was, it was, I was just past that stage, I guess, okay. in my life. So were you a martial artist? Did yes. you have any skills that came into making that role a reality? Yeah, I, I studied uh, Shaolin Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so that was the, what I did. I, I did a lot of acrobatic stuff as well. And um, in the paper, when it said they were looking for new rangers, you had to have like a martial arts skill or gymnastics or dancing ability. So did that come first or did the acting come first? Oh no, acting came much later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even way beyond Power Rangers. I, I mean, for me, I, half the time I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, when's the fight scene? Um, but yeah, it, it came much later, you know, for me. Yeah. Did you get to do your own fighting in Power Rangers? We did quite a bit of it, you know. Well, in our civvies, in our civilian yeah. stuff, you know. Most of the uh, helmet head stuff was stock footage, um, okay. but they did have Japanese stunt team there doing a lot of that on second awesome. unit. Um, but most of the time it wasn't us unless, you know, if we had the helmets on, it was because we were about to take them off. Okay, uh, yeah. okay. So were there a couple of different helmets that were designed to fit different actors and stunt people? No, I think it was all the same, but we did have hero helmets and then, okay. you know, stunt the lighter helmets or whatnot. Helmets. Yeah. I mean, I did, when I was here in Sydney for the movie, my double broke his leg and I got to then do, I know it's terrible, but then That's I got bad, to do my stunts. That's bad, but you're excited. At that <laughs> okay. point, yeah, so. All right, how did, how did they break their leg? Do you know? I do know. Okay. Can you tell <laughs> we, us? Yes, we were both trying to see who can do the highest, farthest <laughs> side flip off of a mini tramp, and he won. Uh, but he hit a corner and came down and broke his leg. Okay. Well, at least he won. Yeah, you he know, did win. <laughs> a little, a little win for yes. him there. Mm. Now, have you had any injuries on set? Uh, not on Power Rangers, but yes, I've had injuries before. I did a film called Broken Path, and I got thrown against a chair and supposed to slide into an entertainment center. The first take was okay, but the, the glass opened up and then you could see the reflection of the camera and lights. And so, okay. one more time, Johnny, I was like, yeah. oh, this was easy. It didn't hurt at all. So mm -hmm. I ran as hard as I could, as fast as I could, and missed the entertainment center and hit the back of my head on the corner oh, of this brick wall with no. the speaker. Yeah. Are you okay? Now I'm okay. Now you're yes. okay. Well, you're then okay I wasn't then. that okay. No. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm glad that you're okay now Thank and you. that you're joining us here in Sydney. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to seeing while you're here? What are those cute little... The koalas? Like, no, no, not the koalas. I think they're in Perth. Oh, the quokkas. Yes. Who do the, you can do the selfies with yes. them. Yes, so, so many people show me that. I'm like, yeah. what is that? How yes. in the world do they pose like that? And so I have to find out for myself. That's a Perth it's, one. It's awesome, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you held a koala yet? Or is that no, a... No, I have not held a koala. Okay, they're a bit I scary. They're, yeah, that's the... I mean, I'm, although they're like sm slow and they're like, <laughs> hi. But I feel like, yeah, there's danger there. There is, there is. That's where the legend of the drop bear comes from. Okay, okay, so, that's, what, that's what I assume then. Yeah. <laughs> so don't <laughs> play around with a koala then. Exactly, right? exactly. Okay. Thank you so much for joining no us. It's been lovely having Thank you. you.